I don't even consider resigning. I don't even consider ninety thousand votes. You can say a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand doesn't matter. What is the state of play in the Nationalist Party? Are you concerned that you have some MPs, you know, spouting out a different message yes. to others? Yes, yes, I am. Honestly, yes, I am. Spoken to them I am not happy. Um, uh, from day one, I spoke basically to, to every MP. Um, uh, and I actually said that, irrespective of whether they were those supporting me or not, I will work with everyone. The doors are wide open for everyone to work. Most actually started from the next day without me even having to say anything. Others took some time to get to know me more and convincing. I think that there are uh, some which, which uh, still uh, seek to, 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 to have an own agenda or a particular voice. My main criticism of government today is there's a government without a plan. We need a plan. We need a plan in transport, in education, in sustainable development, in environment, in everything. Yes. Unless we have that, we're going to run our country. Okay, well, my question though is, is this concern coming from the youths themselves? Or oh, is it you know, being spared out of some sort of nostalgic concern? No, by, not nostalgic. By my, I see from my own children, for example. What my my, my eldest is 15, just to give you an example. But this is something that, that I hear from other 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds. Why should I stay in water? Why shouldn't I go to a cleaner country, to a greener country, to a less corrupt country? Why should I stay here? It's claustrophobic here. We're already the most overbuilt in Europe, if not the world the most overpopulated per capita, of course, per, per square meter. And, you know, it's becoming worse and worse and worse. And the safest place and the happiest place on Earth to live might not remain like that in the next 30 years, and that's a worry. The biggest weakness, I think, right now is our yet inability, or, or, or rather best ability, to communicate our message in the best possible manner. We haven't achieved that. And that's one thing that uh, frustrates me. When, when I meet people, when I get people, uh, we talk, we convince, we move forward. But I'm not getting to everybody. So, so, so the process of how to actually get to everyone is still something that we so need to do. I think the do. problem is not the message, but the style of I don't communicating. Think there's, there's a wrong message at all. No. Your first test, though, was in just under a year. It's the MEP and right. local council elections. <clears> now, uh, that will be the first that, test. That's, that's going to be the first test. Now, again, the surveys are showing that the current gap we're between... In politics, yes, a day is a long time. Yes. So we're an, a year away, and we're going to do our best endeavor okay. to be prepared in order okay. to start gaining some of the lost ground, which was already massive. So what happens if you don't reduce the gap next year? What happens if the gap... Nothing remains? really happens. So what happens if the gap You work harder. What happens you if work harder because the real real uh, game changer is then after those three years. So, so, so for us, that is a testing ground to see what needs to be done in the next three years. It's that the, the permutations are so various that it really would be difficult to see how to react to this. Well, right now, concentrating on actually preparing ourselves as best we can. Will you resign if you lose by 80,000 votes? By 80,000? I don't even consider resigning. I don't even consider 90,000 votes? You can say 100,000. 100,000. Doesn't matter. If you, lose by, if you lose two seats in the European Parliament elections. Listen, this is all speculative. Politics doesn't work like that. It is not a game, Tim. We but need to prepare ourselves. Not whether Adrian Delia resigns or not. This is it's not about setting benchmarks. Though. No, it's not. It's about yeah. offering alternatives to people. Yes, yes, yes. This is not personal. No, this I is not about if, me. But if the people are Let, clearly can, not can, okay. can I explain? It seems that you think that this is about whether I shall resign or not. That seems to no, be the issue. No. People in their homes, in their houses, on their jobs, in their workplaces, want to have a better life. Clearly. Can we propose that or not? So it's not about Adrian Delia. It's about people feeling comfortable that they have a better government, or at least a better opposition. For sure. Because the government will remain the same. And the improving opposition can challenge government for sure. better. But if, but if so the, for if me, irrespective of the numbers next year, our plan is for the next general election. Mm -hmm. And in a year from today, that is our first real survey or test in order to redirect us if 
things go amiss or strengthen us if things go in the direction that we plan. So there is absolutely no scenario, you're saying, that nec by next year's election, in which you see yourself leaving the party? None. Even if the gap increases, if you lose two seats, I'm referring, if you lose... I'm referring to, to results. To results? To results, results. To results, yes, yes, no scenario. Yeah, if I was sick, oh, all right, okay. a, yeah, no, no, results, no, not right, results. No it has nothing. No election scenario Correct. in which even... Because my, 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 my electoral test is the general four years election. from today. So even if, for example, local council elections, there are battleground councils, the GUE, Mosta, St. Paul's Bay, even lose if you them all, win them all, if you, even, if, even if you lose them all, you're going to remain. We're not going to lose them all. But what if you do? I already answered that three times. So, are you, are you I already answered three times. That, rest assured, a year from today, I'm going to be sitting on the seat. <laughs>